Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Please enjoy the video. My mother thinks she entitled to one of my properties lol. I haven't seen my since I was 16, and we were in court. So 19 years I haven't had any contact with the mother. She hired a pie to find me and I still refuse to talk to her I even had my lawyer send her a formal letter of no contact and threatened her with a restraining order she sent this email to me though my work email. I shorten it but basically it said, to, my name. This is, her name, your mother. I thought you would have matured by now and came and apologized to me and your father for what you put us through, because of you your father lost his teaching career and we had to sell our house. However it has come to my knowledge that you own some properties in, my area, so it's only right if you give us one of them as an apology, one of my most expensive properties, would be a good fit for us. As soon as you hand over the keys to, property, we can finally able to start to heal and get past this misunderstanding that you blow out of proportion. I hope you come to the right decision, her name. I just can't stop laughing at this like no bitch I'm not giving you anything. This is just another bit of evidence to help me get a restraining order against her. Parents decided to cancel my 14th birthday party to accommodate my spoiled younger brother. Reinstated it when I told everyone at school. I'm 20, and has happened when I was 14. I have a brother that's about 6 years younger than me. And he was extra coddled by my parents for having been diagnosed with high-functioning autism when he was four. But other than that he seems very normal, just unbelievably spoiled. And he used that to get his way a lot. And by a lot I mean nearly all the time. Anything I had, he also had to have. So that meant we had doubles of almost everything that wasn't shared items. And anything he had that I didn't, he'd rub in my face any way he could. When I was 11 I begged my parents for a 3DS for my 12th birthday. I got one, but then was told to lend it to my brother whenever he wanted it, or else I'd have it taken away. Which it was, a lot. When my aunt found out after seeing my parents forcibly take my 3DS out of my hands to give to my brother on one of her visits, she let loose on them for such blatant favoritism. They returned my 3DS immediately then blamed me for the situation after my aunt left. But they didn't make me give it to my brother again. Instead my parents went out out a few days later and bought another 3DS as a surprise gift for my brother. On several of mine and other people's birthdays my brother made a huge fuss because the party wasn't all about him. Even going so far as to outright state that he was upset because he wasn't getting any gifts or getting to blow out the candles on the cake. My parents learned the hard way that they couldn't enable my brother the way they'd have liked at those parties. And were actually kicked out of a few for trying. And because of that, other kids at his school stopped inviting him to birthday parties altogether. For me, my birthdays were some of the only days I had that I got to have about me because otherwise my parents forced my life to revolve around my little brother. And the year prior to when this story took place, my parents ended up paying more attention to him the entire time of my 13th birthday, and even asked me if I'd let my brother blow out my candles for me because he was upset and pouting. I refused that because I wanted to blow out my own candles. They called me a spoiled brat at first, till my aunt intervened and chastised them on their favoritism yet again and stated how much she had noticed how my brother gets nearly everything between the two of us just because he's autistic. My parents got no support from anyone else there other than my brother, who was still crying because he wasn't getting to blow out my candles. And because he didn't get his way, he tried to outright spit on my cake out of spite. But my awesome aunt thankfully blocked him before he got the chance. Then scolded him till he ran to my mom in tears. My parents took a lot of heat from the other adults there, and then promised to never ask me to let my brother blow out my candles again. But they pretty much just went through the motions for rest of the party. My aunt pretty much took over coordinating everything from that point. 
the following year a couple of weeks before my birthday my parents sat me down and told me they were still gonna get me some gifts and a small cake, but my birthday party was effectively cancelled to avoid my brother having another meltdown. I told them I couldn't believe they were doing this to me, and they just seemed to shrug it off without a care. So at school over the next week I told my friends, my teachers, and even my school counselor. All of them were appalled by my parents' lack of consideration or empathy. The vice principal even found out and consoled me. And all of this got back to my parents through social media. My parents ended up grounding and gaslighting me for telling so many people. But that didn't stop me from still telling everyone at school that I was grounded for just being upset my birthday was cancelled for no good reason. I guess that made it a lot worse because several of my parents' own friends along with parents to other kids in my school called them up or sent them FB messages basically saying what the hell is wrong with you. And suddenly I was ungrounded. I didn't get an apology either. My dad just walked into my room with his arms crossed, told me my grounding was over early, and then walked out. That was it. I thought my party was still cancelled because nobody said anything about it. And my brother thought it hilarious and rubbed it in my face that I wasn't going to get to celebrate. But by the end of the two weeks my parents held a surprise party for me at my favorite restaurant. And then started claiming that was their intent all along. I knew it wasn't. From what I'd seen everyone was incredibly unhappy with them for what they did. And it showed with any interactions family members had with my parents. So they ended up doing the surprise party to try and save what little of their reputations they had left. But I'm pretty sure they had to pay through the nose that day to just accommodate me. I got dinner with all my friends at my favorite restaurant that had a small arcade. And even got the PS4 game system I'd been jonesing for at the time. I could tell it was all pretty much planned and bought last minute because my dad had a look about him that my aunt comically described as looking like a moth had flown out of his wallet. My brother of course made a huge fuss that I got that surprise party. But with so many of my friends and their parents there, my mum and dad finally put their feet down on my brother to stop his tantrum when he wanted to push my cake off the table. My brother ended up getting a time out for the first time since he was a toddler and my mom had to stay with him to make sure he didn't do anything crazy. And he did try several times to run to the cake or stack of presents. Who knows what he would have done were it not for the fact at least one adult was always on guard. Even my dad stood guard to keep him away. My mom ended up having to remove my brother and herself from the party entirely and took my little bro to a McDonald's nearby so he could have fun in their play area and I heard later she spent at least an hour trying to get him to come out of the play place tube structure. And he only did so because he had to use the bathroom, then tried to run right back in again. My parents never tried to cancel my birthday again while still I lived with them. Though they never again tried as hard or spent as much. For the remaining four years I was under their roof, my birthday parties consisted of a local pizza parlor, a cake without even my name written on it, and never again anything as expensive as a new gaming system. I don't mean to sound spoiled. But I was a bit disappointed I never got a cake with my name on it again. My aunt called my parents out on that each year, and each year they claim they forgot to get the cake decorated. I'm pretty sure that the reason my name was never written on another cake was because my brother always refused to eat pieces of cake that had writing of someone else's name on it at any party. And they couldn't put his name on any of my cakes, or it would have looked very bad for them. But the fact that I still got a day that was just about me at all and not my brother was still fantastic in my book. Especially because just about everything else revolved around him. During each of my remaining birthday parties while still living at home my brother made a fuss, and my mom took him somewhere else to calm him down. I was still required to share my PS4 with my brother. But it was still mine. And I took it with me when I moved out at 18. Little bro did not like that, and had a huge fit till my parents went out and bought another PS4 for him. When I moved out they finally had to deal with how they'd raised my brother so spoiled because I wasn't there to help them with him anymore.
On his recent 14th birthday he went mental on our parents for not getting him a PS5. He is now currently grounded for I don't know how long after causing hundreds or maybe even thousands in collateral damage during his rampage. He picked up a chair and just started destroying anything that was in front of him with it. And my parents just looked mentally checked out when I saw them last. My aunt has also told me they confided in her that they wish they could send my brother to military or boarding school in the future because they can't handle the monster they created anymore. But there's no way they can afford that. I'd be lying if I said I didn't find it ironically funny. Entitled Mom Calls Cops After I Body Slam Her Son Because He Hit My Autistic Brother Ok so basically I 16 meters took my 10 year old brother out for the day. Everything was going well until we decided to go get some boba. Now my brother's autism is a bit severe and he tends to just randomly scream here and then. So while we were waiting in line he did just that and scared this kid in front of us who was with his mum. This made him drop his boba. I tried to apologize on my brother's behalf, explained his condition, and even offered to pay him for another. The mother though started lashing out and said some seriously fucked up stuff like I don't want your money you should use it for your brother's therapy and he deserves to be in a mental hospital all because her kid who was actually like 14 or 15 got scared and dropped his boba. I was about to leave with my brother in disgust when this guy takes a swing at my brother and hits him in the chest. I wasn't gonna do anything to that and I swore he was about to take another swing but before that, I grabbed him and slammed him on one of the tables then the mom started screaming louder than a World War II siren and told people around that I just assaulted her son who apparently had anger issues. When I saw her calling the cops I just laughed and went to check on my brother who was crying and yelling in pain, since nobody ever hit him that hard before. I wasn't worried because the place had cameras and witnesses who clearly saw how demented they were. Fast forward a month she's now facing a 2k fine and her son was put back on probation. For that kid's safety, I hope I never see him again. Entitled neighbor wants her kids in my garden. So glad to have found this subreddit, because I have a legit crazy neighbor with boundary issues. I, 29F, don't have any kids but have my younger sister, 16, living with me for around 10 years, and we have a trampoline still in our back garden from when she was younger. Neighbor to the left of me has four kids and moved in a year ago. Two weeks ago, Glasgow started getting really good weather, so the kids have been out playing constantly. Not an issue. They asked if I could let the kids use the trampoline one day, so I was like sure but only for a bit because I have friends coming over for some drinks. 7pm comes, I ask them to go home because my five friends have shown up, and we're going to be drinking. Cue the crying, they leave the garden upset but hey, that's not my issue. They've been on it for three hours at this point. Their mum pops her head out her bedroom window and asks if they can stay in the garden longer. Um, no? I'm not your babysitter. She's annoyed but drops it. Last week, I come home from some shopping, and to my surprise, find all four of the kids in the garden, plus their younger cousin. Ask them to leave, tell them they can't just come into my garden without me there and they didn't even ask. They refuse to leave, so I shout up at their mum and tell her to get them out of the garden. She says let them play for a bit. You don't even use it. Okay but still, not your garden? Eventually, we get into an argument, and they leave, she's pissed off and shouting saying I'm being a Karen and I should let them in. I tell her not to ask again because the answer will be no. This happened again the day after, all four kids plus their cousin, waiting till I moved the car from the drive and headed straight into the garden. So I wake up this morning. I've since put a lock on the trampoline, just a small one on the mesh safety enclosure to stop them from opening it up, cause I'm petty off. Plus it's Saturday. I'm not working today, my day off and I want a long lie. But no. Neighbor decides that at 9am this morning, her kids are being fired straight out that house with breakfast bars and a bottle of water, and they head straight into the garden. So I can hear them from my window, I look out and tell them to leave. By the time I get downstairs, mum has descended from her house, 
and is trying to climb the fence between our gardens, shouting about how I used to let them use it and she's going to call the police for hitting her kids. Um, great. You do that. I'll be sure to show them the ring camera footage, which coincidentally also has footage of your husband picking the lock open so your brats can use the trampoline. So long story short, entitled mother send her kids into my garden repeatedly even after being told not to. Calls police on me for harassment and hitting her kids and ends up getting her own husband arrested for theft and housebreaking, and criminal damage. Suck it, bitch. Edit, some people have if I could sell neighbor the trampoline. She has a V-shaped garden and the smallest one on the street, the trampoline is 12 feet and wouldn't fit. Also gave her a bunch of my sister's old stuff when she first moved in. But have barely interacted with her since this. Edit 2, decided that it's not worth the hassle, 10 minutes ago, 9.50pm here in the UK, I took a knife and slashed the part you jump on. Brother is coming on Tuesday to help me dismantle it, and we will take it to the local recycling centre. Crazy liar dad finds out where I live and attempt to give my apartment to his random friends without my knowledge. So this is long I have a TLDR at the bottom lol. To add some context I'm F25 my parents are so crazy to the point where me and the majority of my family had to cut them off, for me personally my dad completely, and my mum calls on occasion. My mum also tries to overstep such as inviting him to family events he's specifically not invited to the reason is he tries to steer every conversation and attempts to talk about himself, PPL usually don't care or want to hear them he argues with PPL threaten their lives, and she purposefully does these things knowing they'll cause an argument and she gets joy out of it. So needless to say sane people don't want these issues in their lives. My dad is delusional and narcissistic to the point where he thinks he's famous and claims everyone runs up to him for pictures and says he's famous and someone he knows is making a movie about him. Lies about it obviously because no one has ever seen this and it's a running joke. People laugh at him. He thinks it's with him not at him. He's lost all of his friends due to his poor behavior. Such as arguments, belittling, and non-stop phone calls. But to the story of his lies and delusions. I have an apartment and I didn't give him my address BC we aren't on speaking terms and threatened my life because I wouldn't give him my personal info so he could take out loans in my name. Like that's an obvious no. Also I didn't grow up with him so I barely know him. He has apparently told people he has an apartment mine that he lets his daughter me live in this is what I've been told. He likes to pretend to be a big shot. So I guess he told some people who needed a place to live they could stay at his spare apartment. He got my address from a family member I assume my mom due to the fact that no one I know speaks to him. One day I get a call from my apartment building manager saying there are some people at the gate saying they're here to move into your unit. Is this correct? I was just as confused as she seemed. As well as the people he sent to live at my place, he somehow thinks it's his place. Mind you, it's my place, I pay the bills, and I didn't even know he knew my address. So I go out to meet these said guests, as there was much confusion. These are three people, three random sketchy older looking men. Side note I would at most let a friend stay a few nights if needed, not random strange men. I ask what's going on? My building manager stayed BC she wanted to know what's going on and wanted to help sort it out. And she would also know who's moving in and out BC she's in charge of leasing and the building isn't that big, we all know each other. The three men proceed to tell me they're moving into their place we're here for the keys. You're his daughter right? He said you'd be out by the time we got here and keys would be at the front desk. We all looked and I said do you see a front desk? I asked to see what was the address. We thought maybe wrong address? Nope, my address. So the guy said your dad said he kicked you out cues he said you're freeloading and he had you leave the keys at their non-existent front desk. By this time all five of us were confused dot but they had my address. I said he doesn't even have my address so I'd cow he got it. By this time they're trying to call him to sort it out. He's not answering at the moment. So I explained to them. I'd how you or he got this address I haven't spoken to him in about a year, 
and I'd how I'm freeloading or what he's told you, but this is my place I'd what's going on, you all need to figure it out with him, but I have no place for you, sri. They try to get me to call him, but I said no, and calling won't change anything, and this isn't my prob dot so I can't help you. BTW they didn't seem threatening, it was just random and weird for all, I hear one guy on the phone talking to my dad I hear him telling him she's lying etc, ask her to show you the lease. At this point one of the guys and my building manager are all looking like this is odd dot and he looks embarrassed. My manager stepped in at this time luckily. She told the men you all must have the wrong place, she's on the lease the only one. You will all have to leave and sort it out. I can say despite them looking sketchy initially they were as calm as could be in their odd situation. Because in all honesty, the only fault they had was believing my dad, they thought they were moving into an apartment for free, if I was in that situation I wouldn't be happy either. After apologizing and before leaving I heard one of them saying, I knew something was up, he always lying. I asked what did he tell you? One of the men said he told me he had a spot for him to move in, all furnished and paid up to the rest of the year. I kicked my daughter out cause she's freeloading but claimed he couldn't get out of the lease. I said something like. Well like your friend said he is a liar. I'd cow. Why and what made him do this, I never gave him my address. He isn't on a lease, and I don't even talk to him. So dot I'm sorry but hope it works out. I'd what my dad thought would happen. But like I said he's delusional he probably assumed all he was saying was true. Or maybe he assumed there was a front desk and whoever was at the front desk would just magically let three random PPL in? And I'd have no say? It's all so crazy that I can't even attempt to understand. There is no use lol. Also, I told my manager thanks. And if anyone ever comes when I'm not home please give me a call or call 911, if I have a guest coming I'll be home to greet them. TLDR, my delusional dad who I haven't spoken to in over a year somehow got my address and told three of his friends my apartment was his and sent them to move into my his apartment.